Welcome to the first lesson of Googology. I am personally so excited that you clicked on this video in interest of how large numbers can actually get. As an FYI, many of the topics covered in this course come directly from the textbook I wrote, especially this first concept on the etymology and history of Googology. So let's start with some basic vocabulary. In case you do not know, Googology is the study of large numbers and their nomenclature. And just like other fields of study, Googleology has terms to denote people or things similar to the field. A Googleologist is one who studies Googleology or invents large numbers or nomenclature to express large numbers. A Googleism is anything related to Googleology, such as notations, functions, or numbers. And similarly, a Googleism is specifically a large number used by Googleologists. Ultrafinitism is a belief that counteracts the purpose of Googology. Ultrafinitism states that large numbers simply do not exist. Most people who believe in this will state that 2 to the 1024th, or approximately 10 to the 308th, is infinite. And many calculators use this as a limit and declare that everything beyond is, quote, infinity or overflow. The name of the field, Googology, was coined by André Joyce, a Franco-American mathematician. This combines the terms Google, the classic large number, and ology from logos, the Greek word for study of. André Joyce began writing the system for naming large numbers. Ironically, it is rare for someone who studies Googology to even know that the term exists, or that there are people in the field for that matter. Very few use the term Googleologist to describe themselves as a result. In regards to mathematical fields, Googleology tends to be a bit different for two reasons. Its practitioners, which we'll talk about later, and its nature. Its nature causes it to teeter between a mathematical field and an art. Although this course tries to focus on the solving part of Googleology at first, the real world of Googleology is instead more focused on the creation of new numbers and notations. So, before we continue, I just want to state what two very common numbers are. A Google, which you have heard quite a bit, is a 1 followed by 100 zeros, or 10 to the 100th power whereas a Google Plex is a lot bigger. It's a one followed by a Google zeros, or 10 to the Google, or 10 to the 10 to the 100. So as you have seen, the term Googleology was coined by Andrew Joyce in the early 20th century. However, people have studied large numbers far before that time. The earliest known work of, quote, Googleology is the Sand Reckoner, written by Archimedes, a Greek mathematician in the 3rd century BC. He invents a system of creating larger and larger numbers, approaching 10 to the 8 times 10 to the 16th, or that's a 1 followed by 80 quadrillion zeros. Many religious texts also involve large numbers. Although the Bible does not definitively mention any numbers beyond 10 to the 8th, or 100 million, it uses hyperbole such as the sand of the sea or the stars in the sky. Now over the course of the next 2,000 years, a few things do happen in regards to the field of Googology. Remember, the term was not coined until Andrew Joyce did, but most of what was done by professional mathematicians. So we are going to skip to the 1900s. We're skipping to the 20th century since most things in regards to Googleology have occurred in the past 100 years or so. Before the availability of the internet, Googleologists were forced to work in isolation, and their publications of large number naming systems were only shared with people who were physically near. However, the number Google, Googleplex, and a few other large numbers became more well known between people around the entire globe since these publications were better known. Eventually, the interest of Googleology moved from professional mathematicians to amateurs, who worked together on the internet to share their ideas. At this time, many of the early Googleologists, um, include people such as Jonathan Bowers, wrote many of the notations in Googleology. 
And to conclude the 20th century history, the most important thing to remember is that the advent of the internet caused a confluence of ideas to spread, as well as an increasing in interest in large numbers. These ideas can be found on websites dedicated to Googleology, such as the Googleology Wiki, Robert Munifu's site of the large numbers, and One to Infinity, each created at the beginning of the following millennia, or the early 2000s. Then, since 2002, a group of large number enthusiasts claiming to be Googleologists have been added to the Googleology community. These people have been the most active in the entire history of Googleology. These people tend to be between the age of 10 and 30, and these people have developed a culture with a particular challenge. Perhaps it could be defined the largest number you can come up with, but this opens up the door for ill-defined numbers. Ill-defined numbers are numbers that have an arguable definition that can be interpreted differently by people. Also, any infinite number is also not usually recognized by Googleologists, with the exception of ordinals, which we will talk about much later in a different video. Another weak type of number is called a salad number. These are numbers that are a messy collage of uncorrelated notations, such as the one you see here. These numbers are extremely frowned upon in the Googleology community. Instead, Googleologists try to search for definitions that are clean to avoid ill-defined numbers, for numbers that involve as little calculus as possible to avoid infinite solutions, and numbers that sometimes involve set theory to avoid ill-defined numbers. So instead, a better challenge is to find, quote, the largest number you can come up with using the simplest tools. As far as, as, far as mathematical fields go, Googleology is an oddball. It precariously teeters on the edge of what we call science, becoming more of an art form as opposed to a mathematical study. And although Googleology remains and will probably always be an obscure, esoteric, or impractical study, it is at least now has a name, a history, and a community. Here is a big list of some famous Googleologists, or ones who have done some sort of significant addition to the study of Googleology. I will not be going through this, but you can pause the video now if you'd like and just look through them. And there are also three eras in the history of Googleology, uh, starting with the pre-internet era uh, at the very beginning of the 20th century, and then the net community era starting in 1996, and the worldwide war era in 2008 and continues today. One of the biggest questions to ask regarding the history is who is the founder of Googleology? There are two common responses, Andre Joyce and Jonathan Bowers. Recall that Andre Joyce coined the term Googleology and Jonathan Bowers created Beef, a fast growing function, and spread the popularity of Googleology. And between these two, it seems hard to determine who did more. So we're gonna look at some of the good things and the bad things of each of these people. Um, Andrew Joyce, a reason you might think he is the founder is because he coined the term Googleology and also was the earlier of the two. He was much earlier than Jonathan Bowers. However, there are also some problems with this work. Uh, there are many mistakes and also his work more seems of a joke than an actual legitimate mathematical publication. Jonathan Bowers, on the other hand, inspired the rise of modern Googleology. And this means that he made it a lot more popular than it was before. Also, he created many great notations, as you saw in a few earlier slides with all the people. He created beef. And however, many people today are trying to ignore his work for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why, but also his work is very disorganized on his website. And anyway, that is a very general overview of the history of modern Googleology, and many of the dilemmas encountered have not been included in the video. Regardless, Googleology is still growing, and maybe you'll be next to join the Googleology community. Thank you for watching.